What's up guys? Welcome back to Smart Kiddies. I know long time we didn't meet each other but we are finally with the video. Today we will be teaching you how to play battleship. So we have the electric battleship. So um So what and all is uh, included with the electronic battleship is uh, the combat crafts which is, includes the planes and tanks and ship. Then uh, we get so one for the uh, grey team and one for the red team. Then we get scan pegs, we get miss pegs and we get the attack pegs. Also there is a, a game guide for the battleship which is included with the electronic battleship. So we will be teaching you how to play this which is uh, written in the book. Start. So now I'll tell you uh, what and all are these named as. Well, the long one with five uh, five hits needed is the battleship with three holes, but then two twin planes with a little blunt edge is it's called as spy plane. So fighter fighter is a single plane which also uh, which also takes like three hits. So uh, that it is, and also we have attack plane, but it has more sharper compared to uh, the spy plane. That this takes four hits. And also there is tank. This only takes two hits. I will show you how to enter coordinates and what are coordinates. So coordinates are the location where you want to hit. So the locations can be between A to I and 1 to 9. So each letter represents a word which the machine will be describing through a word. So A stands for Alpha, B for Bravo, C for Charlie, B for Delta, E for Echo, F for Foxtrot, G for Golf, H for Hotel and I for India. So if you now I will show you how to Put the coordinates. If you want to enter A1, A1, you will click the A1 button twice because A, the letter comes first and one, the, uh, one comes second. So um, if you want to enter like A8, so you have to uh, click on A1, A1 first because as I told the letter comes first. Then we have to click on H8 because the uh, number comes second. I'll, now I will tell you the, um, the parts of the battleship. There are two parts and one compartment for keeping the uh, combat crafts. And there is the selection region and the on and off button. Now I'll tell you the reason why do we have two pads. So this is the like the recognition uh, pad and this is like where your combat crafts will be placed. So um, we'll, be play we'll be using pe uh, so many pegs because the missed pegs will be white in color and the head uh, pegs will be red. With, uh, the head peg means like uh, you know like imagine if you choose the correct coordinates where this holes are located that means if, if the person uh, opponent guessed it right so the, you have to put the red peg even they put the red peg so you like imagine uh, you keep the combat craft and you cannot recognize where it is the combat craft might be horizontal or vertical so uh, like and also uh, to like if you know like if you miss that you don't have to add, like attack again right so we'll keep the missed peg so we get to know that ship is not there so now i'll be showing you two types of ship layouts there are two types which is custom ship layer and automatic ship layer. Now I will be showing you what are those both. So uh, the book is automatic layer. Automatic layer is actually uh, made for like quick gameplays. So imagine you have no time for like arranging it and giving the different different locations to the uh, to the computer. So what we do is we are we will be choosing one of these uh, arrangements and imagine if I am choosing B3 where the tank is like they will show the coordinates. According to that we should uh, place the uh, the combat crafts and as we put that the machine will recognize as the combat craft arrangement is already uh, like stored in this so uh, it will be recognizing quicker so you can start the game faster. So now I will show you how to play automatic layer. So there is the, uh, the on and off button so the we will turn it on off. Has begun. Input number of players. So number of players. Press player. 1 for solo game. Press 2 for 2 player game. So um, the solo game is actually uh, one for one player. The machine will play against you. So two player is like uh, we like we both are there so we can choose the two player one. Two player game selected. Press fire to confirm. So this is the fire button. So this is uh, how we, uh, if you click this only it will be the machine will like, accept it. Press 1 for classic game. Press 2 for advanced game. Yeah, classic game is actually a less complicated game because each person gets one turn and there won't be any conf these four confusing buttons. Uh, now I'll tell you what are these buttons. This is the cancel button and this is the, the repeat. The, well, like what those people told you can repeat that. Like they just not told which type of game you want. Press 1 for classic game. Press 2 for advanced game. Yeah, so advanced game. Advanced game, each person gets three turns. But then there will be the uh, the su uh, super weapons. But then you need this kind of special uh, crafts for playing. 
so uh, this is the tank i mean this is the battleship this is the tank and this is the attack plane and this is the scan scan doesn't need actually any um the uh, the combat craft or uh, only these two uh, only these three needs the combat craft so imagine if, if you click the classic game selected if you don't if you don't like your selection you can, uh, can click it with the cancel button but we'll go with this player one press one for custom ship layout press two for automatic ship layout yeah so we told you about uh, custom ship layout custom ship layout if you want to play uh, custom ship layout imagine if i uh, keep this barrel ship here one second yeah so the uh, so the first coordinate and the last coordinate so the first coordinate will be b4 which is like the uh, the the least one because the b comes before uh, f and but these are in the fourth region so b4 and f4 the starting coordinate is b4 f4 the machine will tell which uh, which which combat craft you should uh, put the, then they'll ask you which is the like any anything you can keep but then um, you have to tell which is the first coordinate and last coordinate but now we'll play uh, we'll play automatic layout so uh, let's choose so now I'll be selecting one of the automatic layouts. So I'll choose, wait, I'm not showing my sister because I'll be playing. I'll be choosing this one. So, uh, okay. Uh, so it's my turn first. Now I, I'll be randomly guessing uh, which and uh, like random coordinates to guess where is the other player's ship located so um we'll go with so uh, i missed at bravo 5 so I located here so as we missed it so we get to know we should not hit a strike here again So uh, she has to keep it in A3, as I told A stands for Alpha. So even I had to keep, I had to also keep a peg in my uh, ship. So Alpha 3, which will be here. So as I got shot here. Yeah. So uh, my turn again. We will go with the. Uh, Why am I missing so much? Waiting orders, player two. So as you guys see, uh, it got all uh, the battleship got all five hits. So the battleship, uh, so my uh, battleship has sunk. So we need more of this. Target locked on. Ready to fire. 
So she hit again. Uh, so uh, now we'll show you more uh, rules as we told custom ship layout is not actually, I mean, uh, custom ship layout. There are some specifications. So I'll be showing more of them one by one. So uh, we'll stop here and I'll show you everything specifically. So um, to finish the game, the first person, like the first person's, uh, the fleet, who the entire fleet sinks out, then the opponent player wins. Like imagine if I defeated Sri, uh, Sriya's and uh, like all the ship, uh, ship items then i win so now let's get to the basics now we'll be talking about classic uh, classic game and also uh, the the advanced game classic game is actually uh, very easy all you have to do is enter coordinates each person gets turns so actually the classic game is not at all hard it's very easy then comes the advanced game advanced game actually ha each person gets three turns so i get three turns and i can also use like the uh, uh, like the special weapons but also you have to know that each person i mean like per turn only one time you can use a special weapon and also imagine like uh, this is the attack of a sh uh, like the battleship so uh, like if the battleship is not there imagine that my battleship uh, sunk so i won't be able to use this and also there are spe uh, like specific attacks like, like this when the, when you get this uh, this thing you will be even getting the sticker like this okay so this will be showing a uh, battleship will, uh, like uh, like out of a four uh, i mean uh, a small square you will get like a cross you will get so there will be different different specification this tank will only give a small four block uh, attack so like that we'll get like uh, the sp uh, spy plane or uh, spy plane can like uh, will notify you if any like any ship are there vertically or horizontally they let you know if any ship they detected scan will scan the entire uh, like entire uh, the uh, one block and they'll uh, tell you if there's a ship or no ship now i'll be showing you how to play advanced uh, battleship because which we are playing which we demonstrated you how to play the um, the automatic ship, ship layer we were actually playing the classic game now i'll be showing you how to play the advanced game the battle has begun. Input number of players. Two. Press one for solo game. Press two for two player game. Two player game selected. Press fire to confirm. Press one for classic game. Press two for advanced game. Advanced game. Advanced game selected. Press fire to confirm. Player one. Press one for custom ship layout. Press 2 for automatic ship layout. Uh, we will quickly choose uh, the, the same co uh, coordinates. So I already set it up. So. Automatic ship layout selected. Press fire to confirm. Player 1. Input layout code. Uh, the, this one. Press fire to confirm. Player 2. Press 1 for custom ship layout. Press 2 for automatic ship layout. Automatic ship layout selected. Press fire to confirm. Player 2. Input layout code. Press fire to confirm. The battle has begun. On your turn, input coordinates to fire. Make three attacks three each attacks. turn. Use up to one special weapon per turn. Awaiting orders, player one. So I have three turns. Every turn only one uh, special power, and I mean uh, super weapon. And I'll be showing you all of this uh, uh, super weapons like uh, features and as it is shown here. So uh, we'll go with the first one. Three, because we know already this much we missed. Target locked on. Ready to fire. Target locked on. Ready to fire. Enemy. Enemy hit in Alpha 3. Awaiting orders. Player 1. Oh, yeah, it's my turn already, right? Yeah. A4. Target locked on. Ready to fire. Yeah, 
so I have a super weapon now. We'll uh, use battleship. We still have battleship, so we'll be using it. We'll be checking. Okay. Input blast coordinates. So, um, where do you wanna like, uh, like you know, use it? So, if you wanna use battleship here, like out of these four blocks, imagine if you wanna use exactly this place, then you have to locate it at the center. If you wanna use it in this block, you have to use it in the center. So, we'll use it as okay. Also, I forgot to uh, mention. Even uh, imagine after doing the blast coordinates, it'll also let you know if like you hit it or not. So it's actually an advantage. Like if you missed it, it'll not, like tell you. It's like a mass uh, notification of like uh, if it, you missed it or uh, or else you uh, got a shot. So it's your turn. Um, Input blast coordinates. Uh, two uh, uh, like uh, locations and after that I'll show you the tanks uh, special weapon one second uh, okay. Vertical attack and horizontal attack. Horizontal attack means like it'll, it'll be attacking like uh, like water roll is coming in this way uh, like horizontal. Vertical will check like from uh, how will he attack. Uh, now we will check for um, as we know it's like four shots and this uh, but the thing has still not sunk so it'll be a, of course a battleship because battleship is the only thing that has five hits. So um, we'll be checking for a vertical. Horizontal is incorrect. One second. Press 1 for vertical attack. Okay. Press 2 for horizontal attack. Vertical attack selected. Press fire to confirm. Input launch coordinates from grid edge. Grid edge launch code which means like from where do you want to start the start point where do you want like the vertical. Like you can choose from here, 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 anywhere like this much. So we can, uh, we'll be choosing like we want the entire row so we'll be choosing here A7. So her battleship has gone. So uh, now we will be going on with the uh, next specification. So let's wind up here. So now I will be telling you about uh, the custom ship layout. Uh, as I told before, the first and last coordinate you have to enter it for the machine to recognize. Now there are three rules uh, for the uh, like for the placement of the ship. 
you should not place the uh, the item diagonally like it should only go horizontally or vertically like the barrel ship cannot be going slant uh, slanting or any any other pegs i mean uh, the the fleet and also um, the like the attack pegs where i'll show you one second yeah so these holes where the, where you get the uh, where like where you put the red pegs uh, so you know where where you attack that should not go outside the grid because the machine won't be able to recognize and also the uh, two uh, like two uh, two fleet should not overlap like imagine this uh, this hole and the barrel ship hole one second yeah the barrel ship hole should not overlap uh, or else like the uh, in the machine won't anyways accept it they'll be like incorrect but you should not keep it like that so other uh, than that, that's it so uh, i'll be showing you how to play uh, the custom ship layout the battle has begun input number of players to play player game. game selected press 1 for classic game press 2 for advanced game classic game classic game selected press fire to confirm player 1 press 1 for custom ship layout press 2 for automatic ship layout custom ship layout custom ship layout player 1 deploy your fleet when a ship reports input the first and last coordinates of its location so they told me to keep the barrel ship so we be uh, putting the barrel ship first so i'll be choosing a random location so now the first and last coordinates so as you guys can see the uh, the, the lower one and the larger one it, it can either be the number or it can either be the letter so b is um, uh, is like smaller than the uh, the f1 so we'll be putting the b coordinate first so b4 and f4 first you type in the b4 and then we'll type f4 press fire to confirm so barrel ship coordinates is complete so similarly you have to keep everything but then as i told you two planes should not overlap like this and also there should be uh, the ship should not go diagonal like this and also uh, the ship should not go off grid like this one hole might be like see it's going off grid it should not go diagonal and also two ships not should not overlap so these are the rules and that's it that's the advanced game thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe and share this video